If you have a very bad meal that makes you violently ill at a restaurant, it may not be entirely clear to you as to what your recourse is for any kind of compensation. It might be simple enough to complain to the restaurant and then not have to pay for the food, but what if you are severely and violently ill in the days or weeks that follow? Well, this would be considered as a personal injury, and it's different from an ordinary monetary claim, although it can still be made on the small claims track at the county court, so long as the damages you are claiming don't go over £1,000. You see, for a monetary claim, small claims are limited to £10,000, as in not more than £10,000. But for a personal injury claim, which this would fall under, it's limited to £1,000. And the significance of that is if you go beyond that, let's say you claim £2,000, then you will be at risk to costs if you lose your claim. But conversely, the restaurant would also be at risk to costs if they lose and you are successful in your claim. But all through which you will need to obtain some kind of medical evidence. So if you are violently ill, as much as you probably don't feel like going to the doctors the next day or in the following days and weeks, you would be advised to do so because you will be expected to produce some kind of medical evidence to show that this food led to you being poisoned in some way. And this really is the key if you want your claim to be successful. You see, your purchases at a restaurant are also covered by the Consumer Rights Act, assuming we're talking post the 1st of October 2015. And under the Act, the restaurants are required to produce this food for you with reasonable skill and care given the fact that it's a restaurant and it's producing food. Now, a very short story, someone that I know many years ago was at a restaurant and was served pretty much raw chicken, but didn't want to complain because they felt that they couldn't get any compensation from the restaurant or their money back or anything like this. Now, quite obviously, if you find that food is delivered to you raw or it's off, rancid, or something patently wrong with the food, Obviously, you make the point there and then, and hopefully you're not made to pay for the food, but perhaps you may not wish to return to the restaurant. But let's say you've eaten the food already and you are violently ill later that day or the following day. You are well advised to get proper medical attention so that you can get proper medical evidence, because if you did want to make such a claim, then you will be required to provide this evidence. But in order to avoid all of this in the first place, please do check the restaurant's hygiene ratings before you go there and the Food Standards Agency website, which will detail any complaints about the restaurant. But finally, if you do feel the need just to make a complaint that this restaurant is so bad that it needs to be brought to task, then again you can make such a complaint if you feel that they have breached the Food Safety Act of 1990 for the standards of food hygiene for a restaurant. So I hope this has filled perhaps some kind of void of mystery as to what happens if you are made ill by restaurant food and what you can potentially do about it, although I suspect many people won't. But either way I would appreciate a like and a subscribe to this channel because you've probably noticed we are once again on Easy Chinese Cooking, not Black Belt Barrister. So on this channel we do good food and we teach you how to cook very delicious dishes. So please subscribe, keep watching and I'll see you next time.